I see how we alone Look how hard we try, nobody here we cry Them no care for you, you will be alone Been through the storm, when the rain is on We saw no one We alone, yeah We alone, we alone Gucci, me Gucci, you see? So I'm fasting, I'm Why are you buying? We're here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want it like that or do you want it like braider? We good though. You wanna ask me? Yeah, see you. Anyway, Polly, we're soon knock you back, yeah? Nisha, a new case you have? No, Your phone just feels pinch in your hand. Shit, your phone feels nice. So, yeah. You're actually so haunted, like, bruh. Mm. Mm. I energy, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I energy. I just see energy. I just see energy. What? What? <laughs> you thought you were a singer just now? I just see energy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, y'all, what is up? Welcome back to the Newbie Fan TV. We're back with another video. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be doing. Um, what are we doing? I don't know. You said we were, we were, we were going to do a video, and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> What? That's always you, so it's nothing new, fam. I'm so upset. Can you go get it? It's nope. right They're upstairs. Nope. Me and I get up my legs, man. Can I tell my Ugh. Every time we go to record, the battery always just gets Nisha up. Nisha always makes sure to say, you know, pip your Um, In today's video, we're going to be doing a Q&A, a long overdue Q&A. It's really long overdue, I swear. It's 2021. So we are starting off this year with an updated Q&A. You ready for this? When Ziggy's blunt is like on a whole different level. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So the first but question I is, how do you feel about Nisha being a nurse and working in the COVID? I'm gonna feel good. Tell them how you did it want me to go out there. Like you not that he didn't want me to, but he was not happy to know like Minute Minna feel good. I know Mine are I didn't. I don't feel I don't like it, but that's what she went to school for and like that's her dream, that's what she wanna do. So like for me to say no, don't go up like it would be unfair to be honest because I'm out there and just as though everything up um, um, me can me they say can come here mm -hmm. in our house in our house so it, it's okay you didn't want me yeah. to go out there in the beginning but you still supported me at the same time yeah man it is what it is what's the <laughs> most challenging obstacle living here in Canada Ziggy I don't know why I'm gonna say that <laughs> Have you guys noticed by now? Uh, uh, the living. Yeah, like you don't like the coal up here. Yeah, you honestly, it. just the coal and like too much rules. Jamaica not really like all the rules. Like rules like what? Yeah, like too much rules. Canada alone have too much rules. Well, I know too much rules. It's just that you have to follow them. <laughs> Saying like you like when you're back home, you can drive with no seat belt, you can yeah, smoke. Yeah, yeah, smoke and drive and just book your meals. So you want the, like the, the carelessness, it's <laughs> basically. Not really carelessness, it's basically like, it is. I don't know. You like the more freedom. Yeah, it plays like a person to uptight, basically. <laughs> you see me? And it cool. It cool on the main part, of it, but other than that. But probably my thugs the main day are still it's probably it's like different. different. Yeah, yeah. It's me what you are just me alone. I mean it's a whole new change for you, so what do you expect? It's only what your second <laughs> second and a half winter. Yeah, so <clears throat> other than that, this yeah alright. Okay, when are you going back to Jamaica? Uh let's make it the chance. I know. It's so funny because we're actually planning to go to Jamaica um, on a business trip. Yeah, a business trip December. And we also wanted to go to UK and we had another trip to go to mm -hmm. and literally we had to cancel everything. Everything we had to cancel which really sucks but, but what yeah. can we do? 
You have to follow the protocols, you have to follow the rules. I mean, it's just not the best time to be traveling right now if you don't have to. Um, if it's essential, I mean, do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. Like, if you have things to do, you don't have to do, you don't have to do yeah. it. Yeah. For me, as the time comes, I'm get the correct time, but like, no one lift up. No, we have a list of places we actually want to go to. Yeah. If money was an issue, wasn't an issue, what would be your dream house? Uh, what does that like? What would be our dream house? I don't know. To be honest, uh, I think we're so humble. Like we don't, I don't really care to live in a big, 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 big house. To me, it's pointless. If it was just me, you, and Nala were in this huge mansion, like nah. No? My like for me dream house. Yeah, you want a nice house. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, me that want a pool. Obviously. Sure. And I would like for to... area. Me like for yes. DM era. Or you know, bar talking, era. I would like to live somewhere where it's just kind of like you and the ears like in an open space and you can like see oversee like down below, like see the rest of the place. You know like in Jamaica oh. how if you look at um, uh, Italy you can see down? Yeah, that's you right. Want to go on hill, on yes. Hill. And you look down, you just see the rest of the city, no. or whatever it is—country, city. I, I don't mind. And you just have your own space, your own pool, and your house has a nice balcony on it, and you can just chill yeah. and relax. Yeah. My, well, yours is more, but no, <laughs> is, uh, honestly, me just want to say, me comfortable, and me house look good and nice, and me have a pool, and um, me have here for myself, which part. And I want my house to be have like black garage, black front door, nice like glass around it. <laughs> around what? The balcony or what? You ever see houses and like it's like glass, it's not really brick. You, you want a glass houses? house? Yes. Bombo. <laughs> <laughs> Even our bedroom just has to just open a window like Good Ooh. morning. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I well, always well, said if money wasn't it. And I always said I wanted a mirror like on my ceiling. You already did it. <laughs> How? Well you know a um, mirror all way That would be like, sick if they don't like this. You can just look at me and see yourself here set. That would be sick. Yeah. In oh. that fuck slip my head to get dead. Me now, me now, me, me now, uh, this you think this is final destination? <laughs> Why you have to go there? No, but like that that not scare you at no point. No, that's sexy to me. Yeah, we get that the part, but <laughs> different is still not so. <laughs> okay, what do you miss about being in a long distance relationship? For me, what I miss is like actually booking your trip and like packing and going to see your other half. Like that was like that exciting. It was exciting. I miss that exciting part, the butterfly feeling, and like just meeting up together for after it's been so long, and you know. Yeah, that's what I miss. What do you miss about it? Oh, see, what do you miss about it? Why did I just hit the nail on the head? Hmm? Like, what is your, like, feel all the time where you always want that to be together? Yeah. And that made long distance and make, like, you know, our work. Mm -hmm. I know you're dead together, but not, it's not, I don't miss it. Oh, so you don't miss nothing with LDR? You no. like being with me every day? I not like them every day, every day. But why why you say like that feeling that we don't know, see 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 other half for a long time and then mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but different way. Don't miss about it. I know long honestly long distance relationship is hard. It has its ups and downs, but yeah. oh. how do you guys keep the spark alive with a toddler in work? Oh man. Boy yeah, if you just find me, you know. Just find time to be each other no matter what is me. Yeah. Like, it's really hard to lose that like <laughs> that connection and that spark. You'll get caught up with like being a mom or in work or being a dad in work. So you really have to like you said, you really have to try to find the time to make time for each other. I didn't think that cause problem too. But at the same time it two side of the understand but trust me like you know it you know go easy, isn't me? Person, you have to be somebody like that. <laughs> no, we've had it. We've had it rough. We've had it actually rough to points where it's like yeah. used to bump heads and like we had it really. Some people have 
their first child or like their kids in their relationship and like you know it works out to the nice. whole thing but if in the beginning for us after we had nyla like things were a little rough because one she would not sleep two she was super attached to me mm -hmm. Sex, she didn't want ziggy to touch me she always wanted to like be with me and then like you know we um even though she had her crib there was times where because i was so tired and i had my postpartum depression like i just wanted her in the bed because i was too tired to get up so there like there was a, a lot of little factors that came in play that were kind of like making us rocky but the one thing i can say is that thank god we're both strong because that's even part of it yeah, yeah we so understood cool. each other and like ziggy was there for me you know and he understood certain stuff so that really helps us <laughs> Sometimes, yes. And then it's just a matter of communicating. <laughs> communicating what is missing. Communicating the missing puzzle piece and finding it and putting it back together, basically. Yep. So if we never communicated, I don't know. I don't know what would happen to be honest. But probably that got my cousin be a curse. So. Probably. Yeah. For real man, they like apart they're rough the truth. But yeah, it depends on your youth still. Yeah. If you sleep at night time or if you Stay in a crib or if you yeah. just all about them. Yeah. But, yeah. Next rap. <laughs> Wedding story, please. Oh, Lord. So much you guys asked for this. So. I'm gonna have to go and get me, like, make me shut it at the video that he's separate, set, right? And just talk about it. Yeah, I'm gonna save that one for a separate, or like a, another vlog or something, we'll, we'll talk about that. Like, you know? how we felt, what we went through, and. Because that like one, y'all want. <laughs> oh, I have videos too, but like they're like little clips that I just like vlogged. I don't have like a full edited perfect video. So they're like little mm -hmm. moments just for us, but um we'll show that in the next video. No, that, that, that that was, one, yeah. Video of the talk because by the next start talk and get into it like that they take a whole like, yeah. one one day. Yeah. <laughs> when will you have more kids? Yo, I'm not gonna lie, Nala terrified us. <laughs> yeah, man. Nala terrified us, and then, um. Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna. Nala shake me up, man. Like, I, like, it occurred like a time somebody rough up, like, some big people rough up here, you have to just stay, so. Like, Nala, I have to sit down on him, like, yo. Mm. Did you do it? Wow. Literally, like, I don't know. It's not like she's not a bad kid. Yeah, yeah. She's not a bad kid, but it's just like, mm. let me see, the not sleeping in the night and us losing sleep from like day one. Before Nyla sleep, Nyla have to cry like one hour or 45 minutes straight first before <laughs> Ingo sleep. I not not do you know. Like, let me tell you, having, let me, you will plan how you think your kid's gonna be. I'm like, yeah, that's how my kid's gonna be, da da da, and it'll totally be you a different vlog. You, can you cannot plan. You can't plan nothing when it comes to parenthood. Yeah, exactly. You can literally can only wish only when it comes wish. to parenthood. But we're not saying she's a bad kid. Like, we love our Nyla Bear, but the, the sleepless nights and still fighting with her to sleep through the night. Um, Actually, we just found out that she might have night terror. Mm -hmm. But that's like a whole different thing right there. Um, But. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I just started my career and then Ziggy's in his career. So it's like we just have plans, certain plans that we want to put in place first before we even think about having another kid. And to be honest, not that I want my kids to be far apart, but I'd rather Nyla to be a little bit more independent because she's really, really, really attached attached to me. And I feel like she'll be really, really jealous. So I want to wait until she's a little bit more independent. That's when you're going to have fights. I know. No! My mama! No! My mama! Mine! <laughs> Mama, mommy, mom, <laughs> mom, let go. So someone again asked, when do you guys plan on going back to Jamaica? I already answered that. As the years go by, does marriage get easier, harder, or remain the same? Big up in the self. I don't, okay, this is the thing. We're married, but we, like, I don't, is there something that we're missing? Because, not because we're married, we've changed, we haven't changed anything about our relationship because we're married. <laughs> like, I feel like we're still the same. The thing is, people make marriage a thing. Well, it is a thing. But like, it makes it but, make it change them, yeah. like their relationship. Like, we're still the same. We're still goofy. Mm -hmm. We still do our thing. It's not like, oh, we're married. We have to do this. Like, no, we didn't. We're still the same as and Nisha. And I feel like that's what's making our relationship go. That, that, that's like literally that. That will make it easier. Yeah. Because you making it hard after they make it hard for your partner. Mm 
mm-hmm. basically because if you tell it that say yo you can't go to the door again you know once it's mm-hmm. nine o'clock you're feeding a bit once the boss will tell you say yo you can't do this and do that again in the call of the you know so like that when you go get out because you go off you sit down and try and make sure you say you know and do what you know what you feel you see me say things go kind of like that once they hard upon you you go start get hard upon you because your face go start make up yeah. So basically our advice is to just remain the same. Yeah. Don't change because oh you're married, we're gonna you're married, you can't do this. You can't yeah. like you know like don't let the title of marriage change change your relationship. So like over right. the years it's it's going good, like we're still going strong, we're still here. Um Yeah, the dome I went up sometimes. Where did you both get married? We got married in Jamaica. Jamaica. Well, like I said, we're gonna say that for a whole other video. It's Jamaica. No Jamaica. question. Just want to beat you guys up and thank you for being on the front lines. Oh, Pick up your guys' self. Mm-hmm. Do you have a video of your wedding day or vlog? We kind of do, but like it's nothing big. I'm telling you guys, literally, it's I didn't vlog a lot because I was really trying to enjoy the moment. I have little clips, um, but it's just more memories for us. But <laughs> I didn't really <laughs> vlog it. Do you guys plan to live in Canada or in Jamaica? The future dog beats so. <laughs> oh, My plan yeah, was to live in Jamaica. My plan is in Jamaica, but. You can't plan nothing, it's true, because look at right now. You never know it all come in the next two, three years. You know? mm-hmm. But my plan would have to go back to my yard still. Yeah. Probably come in the summertime. But then we would want to come in the summertime because they're in Jamaica, nice. I know. And we yeah. do, we are building back home, but we'll see what happens. We'll leave it there and see what see what happens. Your dog feeds so yeah. this one is it me? What is your favorite memory with each other? It's a lot. I know. You ever have so much memories that you can't even think about one? It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, I know mine. One of my favorite memories is it was Valentine's Day and I was in Jamaica and Ziggy was over my house and he woke up at like 5, 6 in the morning and he left me. Remember when he left me? And he was driving up and down to get like champagne, um, set up like a dinner, remember at Chill Out? And set up everything for me, right? So I'm there at home like, he just literally, literally woke up, gave me a kiss and he's gone. So I was laying there because I'm like, what the hell? Like my mind's running down like, what the hell's going on? Like, wh- wh- like where's this guy going and whatever, whatever. To find out that later that day, he's like, Oh, do you want to go to eat? No, you said you're taking me out. Or do you ask me if I want to go to eat or something like that? I don't like remember that. exactly, but. It was something like that. So, anyways, we drove out and we're there and then we got to Chill Out Hut. So, this is why Chill Out Hut is our place because it's very. A lot of memories happened there. Um, He went to. Basic long story story, he went to Chill Out Hut. We oh. sat there and we were ordering food and then I was looking at him and then all I heard behind me was. Bah! Remember when I was like, Oh! I like it frightened me and this, like, all the waitresses came. You and didn't they had. Video in that? You. Did you record it? I think you did record it. I had to look on my hard drive. Did you got a vlog about it? No, I think there's a video. Are you serious? I think there might be a video. You're actually right. Yeah, I think there is a video. But, anyways, the girls came behind me. They had champagne. And then he bought me a ring. So that was like my first like promise ring that he gave me. I still have it. Yeah. And then I was like, I was so shocked because I've never ever had anyone go to that extent to do something like that for me. And the fact that he was driving like, chill out from us is a good 20 minute drive. And he was going back and forth. Well, the thing is, I think majority of the person may have, may have to get yeah, I the that. stuff they only want. So that's why I mean, And he went to Mobay to get liquor. Yeah, you know I mean? He literally did that in one day. Like, you know, it made me feel special that someone went like that long mm-hmm. or far to do something like that for me but that was really sweet because i've never had anything like that done <laughs> don't even start a conversation <laughs> are you dumb <laughs> are you doing hey boy okay um nisha what i what advice would you give to newlyweds well i kind of gave an advice earlier don't change don't let the word marriage change your relationship stay you stay true and remain humble Trust and communication but, and respect is very important. But, so we're actually going to end the video right here because a lot of the questions were repetitive. Um, most of it was asking for a wedding story, um, Jamaica, 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 literally Jamaica. So. So yeah. 
video. The video is ending right here. Um, but before I end this video, I want my YouTube family to go in the comments right now and leave us some questions. We'll do a part two to this. Ask us the different questions. It could be anything. Nothing with wedding or Jamaica. I feel like everyone always asks us that. Like those are the typical typical questions that we always get. Like ask us anything. Usually I always post on my Instagram and my Snapchat for people to send me questions. But I want my YouTube family to send me some questions. Um, the video is ending right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little Q and A, mini Q and A. Um, and that's basically it. I should tell us we should have some food I eat too. And answer the questions. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna feel food. <laughs> yeah. But I that I don't know what this come down, you know. What badness? You always say that. What badness come the down? Badness to come down like you don't know energy. What that energy? I want to eat here. What's you know, morning? Your bum. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm dead. You're done good. And, uh, I just see energy man. Moment of silence. Mm. Yeah. And I see how we are loaded. Look how hard we try. Nobody here will cry. Them not here for your. You're over your love.